Oh yeah, she's spewing. Good news y'all, water temp is 76 degrees today. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, the boat is telling us an improper reading. We're not actually in the water, but we are here <laughs> with Ryan Rigg. What's, What's good? <laughs> we are just going to uh, have a good old day. I don't know what we're doing today, actually. You know what? I do know what we're doing. Hold on a second. All good. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, before we make it any further, let it be known this is the first time we've ever forgot to tighten the plug up before launching the boat. So let us get this thing out of the water real quick, put the plug in, and then resume said video. Yeah, it's been a while, you know. You go filming and film with the guys up north for uh, Unchartered. And then what else did I do? And then we go out to Florida and we get taken out on the charters and you just forget how to run a boat if it's been like a month. So, anyways, back in the water. All right, where were we? Yeah, today's video, y'all, is sponsored by Mystery Tackle Box. Uh, it's because of great companies like these that if we were to sink our boat, we might actually be able to afford another one. So, thank you so much for sponsoring today's video. Let me show you guys what is in this month's box. Devin and I have been using this service. Ryan, you're even on MTV, right? We're on it, guys. We are on it. It is a monthly tackle subscription service where let's say you are unfamiliar with bass fishing and you want to know what to throw. You get months, you get baits. You get new baits every single month. It's just like Christmas, guys. It is absolutely ridiculous. We have been loving it. But also, let's say you're an experienced angler. It's just a new way to increase your arsenal and try new techniques. So, Ryan Rick, what do we got in today's box? All right, so it looks like we got ourselves a crankbait, Hell yeah. uh, some tubes, tubes, jig, Jigs. Uh, Weston. Weston. Weston bait. Weston swim. Say what? I Maybe like this box. Some bruiser crawls. Sick. Can't go wrong with crawls. Shaky head. Shaky heads. Toss some worms on there. And an amazing sticker. Take a look at that. Mmm. This is going on one of the tackle boxes, boys. All right. So before we get to rigging up, we just wanted to let you know about Mystery Tackle Box. They're doing the biggest sale of the year. This is the time to get a subscription for yourself or somebody you know. If you've been curious about this service or if you've never even heard of it, go ahead, check them out. Water's real clear today, blokes. And uh, it is also sunny, clear skies, bluebird skies. It's never, never your most favorite for fishing. <laughs> but anyways, I want to start things off. A lot of grass in here, a lot of hydrilla. Uh, bass ambushing bluegill. I've got this little bluegill profile bait on board with us as well. I'm going to toss this thing out for a couple minutes just to see if I can get some hits on this thing. Maybe that won't. Alright, well we're not going to throw this bait anymore. I'm just kidding. That went well. Okay, next up. We are just flying through baits today, boys. This is the... This is actually brand new. It's not even out yet, if I'm not mistaken. This is a cycle bait. It's a sick twist on a spinner bait. This blade right here actually kind of goes back and forth, creates a very erratic motion and draws fish in from, I would say, even further away or maybe entice a bite better than most average spinner baits. And I've got a little 3.3 inch saucy swimmer on the back here. Half ounce, as stated on the bottom, hand tied skirt. Things are absolutely legit. They're gonna be brand new on Carl's Bait and Tackle very soon. Let me see if I can get a little sniff on this thing. Might be about the bottom baits, bottom baits. Got him. In the pads, on the saucy swimmer, little guy. That's okay. That's okay. They did hit the moving baits. That's right, get the scale. Unfortunately, our scale isn't really working right now, so it would probably say this thing's like five pounds, which is also fine with me. <laughs> yeah, I think it goes for four and a half, but I don't know about five. That's kind of pushing it. <laughs> First one in the boat, ladies and gents. Let's keep the ball a rolling, shall we? Saucy, getting it done. Kind of ventured into this calm pocket back here and uh, got him out of the woodworks. Casting deep into the cover here. We are in the pads, or what used to be. They're kind of dying, but. You got a jig on, Ryan? Yeah, that's fish. That's Texas okay. rig? There's fish on this. Yep, drop right down. Right down. Let it go. Yep. On the front of the boat, we are on top of them, which is probably not the best. Oh, they're swimming away. That's the little guys. It's crop I mean it's probably crappie. Yeah, I think it's I think it's crappie. We'll go to the to the spot. Might start throwing the big baits. I gotta test out the new handles. All right, y'all, now that we've got a fish in the boat, we are gonna try and size things up. Well, we are gonna size things up. We're gonna throw the uh, Citizen. We've got a six inch working class zero bait right here on the swim bait setups, so all linked down in the description. But what is brand new and we are super stoked about is 
the DRT handles. We literally just got the variables on here. These are the 110 millimeters. You probably saw the install video recently. If not, check that thing out. And they have the working class zero flat knobs, a thicker grip. We've never thrown the swim baits with these things and we are pretty pumped to do so. So I'm gonna get this thing in the water. We're going for some fours, fives, sixes. We've caught all those out of this place. We've caught some bigs primarily on swim baits of this size. So let's see what happens. What in cousin tarnation? <laughs> Alabama. <laughs> His voice is all over TikTok. <laughs> Jerk bait. There we go. <laughs> I thought I felt a little weight on there. Finally, god dang, you gotta hit him with the slow stuff. Give him the pause. My goodness. It has been one of those days, ladies and gents. Yeah, I, I almost never throw hard body or hard plastic jerk baits. I, I throw flukes a lot, but sometimes you just gotta slow it down. This is the junior scout guys. It's absolutely sick. Parrot, parrot, there's a parrot. Parrot glider. <laughs> yeah second fish in the boat we will absolutely take it ladies and gents let's get him back in the water I think it's been like an hour and a half since the last catch. Do you hear from that? No, I'm, I'll, I'll throw this if you want to try and catch one on that. Got him, got him, yes. All right, nice guys on the Nico Rigged Lunker Log. Okay, <laughs> that's uh, three for me and somehow I don't know if I, I've been getting lucky. I've been, I've been getting extremely lucky. That is one for everyone on the boat technically. <laughs> so I'm in three fish and, and Devin and Ryan haven't caught much, but I, I haven't caught much either if you're looking at size. So that was on a, uh, a Nico rig, essentially just a wacky rig, but there's a little bit of a weight here in the nose of that worm just to let it sink a little faster. And this is a five inch black with red flake. That is what got it done on this guy. This is the uh, Guggen Squad medium heavy. Is it medium heavy? No, it's gotta be just like medium light. This is the Guggen Squad seven foot finesse rod right here, you guys, and a Stratic CI4 with just some light braid, like eight pound and a 10 pound leader, I wanna say. So that is what raked up that fish right there. We are just slowing things down. Everyone is now throwing jerk baits. Or oh, Devin's on with the first fish of the night. Oh my goodness, come on, let it be the biggest. Please be two pounds or more. Oh, a quarter pounder. What is going on with this lake tonight? Jeez. Time to triple up. All right, then. Let's get in the water, man. Sunset bite is hot. Well, guys, my first one of the night on the jerk bait that I stole from Weston. Dude, this thing is like literally half the size of that fish. <laughs> All right, bud. You know, we're not catching a tan anymore. We're not catching fish. So we're just down to throwing the old jerk bait and trying to catch a buzz right now. So. <laughs> I wonder if it's fishable back there. You think there's fish hiding in the back? We have decided to explore tonight. It might be a puddle of five pounders back here. Dude, look, there's bluegill. We are on the right track. This is how we do it, babe. Don't drop that. Dun, dun, dun. Navigating the shallow waters this evening, y'all. Tried to work our way to a bite in the back 40 and it didn't really pan out. There's a bunch of bluegill. They're probably safe back there. It's like 59 degree temps. They're hanging out. So we're going to try and get on a couple more bass before there's absolutely no more light left. How y'all liking this audio? Sounds pretty good. Chicka, 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 Okie dokie. Look at that. We are back. You're not going to throw that jerk bait? Oh, yes, no, nope. Thought I was on something. All right, y'all, and that wraps up what was one of our first trips back out on the hot tamale since getting back from Florida. We just want to take a quick second to thank our sponsor for today's video and also remind you guys, if you want to try Mystery Tackle Box 
for your first time, this is absolutely when you do it. The holidays are here and there is the biggest savings ever on mystery tackle boxes. So if you guys are curious, go ahead and give it a shot. Literally, in the amount of time I've been using MTB, I think I got my first lipless crankbait in one of these boxes. I had never used them previously. I had used like square bills and I had never tried a lipless crankbait. I got one in the box. It was like a Jenko fishing rip knocker and I started tearing it up on lipless and to this day, although I'm usually throwing the clutch nowadays, the Guggen Squad clutch, lipless are one of my favorite baits for covering water quickly, especially when in and around grass. And then things like uh, that topwater Yozuri that I got not that long ago, that Yozuri like pencil walking bait with that one knocker inside of it. Never used a bait like that until I got that one. I had used, of course, buzz baits you've seen early on in our videos, whopper ploppers, but it's just a fantastic way of finding and identifying new baits, stuff that maybe I wouldn't even try off the shelf. So once again, if you have been on the fence, now is the time to give MTB a try for yourself. And guys, thank you so much for sticking around until the end. It means the world. We'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. <laughs>